Hey, good morning. It's, uh, hello, citizens. That's the proper greeting. Uh, it's Dr. Bob Flower with your um, Monday, August 6th, Master Pattern Report. Okay, so let's see what um, what happened and what's going to happen. Right? Uh, last week, uh, our silver move, 1.5%, uh, uh, actually occurred a day earlier than we predicted. Um, uh, however, oil was right on target. Um, the um, uh, 8th, uh, August 3rd uh, oil uh, call was one day later. Uh, I'm sorry, it's one day earlier. Um, but all within the mess of pattern um, um, parameters, okay? Um, we sold our um, uh, LinkedIn uh, short position within 48 hours, made ourselves a real nice profit. Uh, we got out a little early, but that's okay. Uh, we were on the right side of it, and um, it, eventually what happened was, it, I think it went from 10, roughly 105 down to 96, and then um, on Friday, uh, with that massive up move, it jumped up 11 points in one day. So uh, we're going to be looking to go short here again, probably uh, by next, uh, I would say next Friday. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll try and get that to you. Um, the problem I'm having is next Monday, the 13th, is a watch out date. That, that's, that's the beginning of our um, critical period uh, that we've been uh, predicting uh, from August 13th to September 14th. And uh, we, we feel very strongly that uh, we're going to see a major, uh, uh, a major downturn here. Uh, but not before I think the market rallies a little bit more. Okay, uh, so keep loose uh, on the 13th and there, there thereafter. Don't panic. Okay, uh, some uh, socio-political uh, stuff. Um, uh, now, let me try and put this uh, Bain Capital thing in, in the proper perspective here, right? You're driving down the street uh, in your hometown and uh, you see some city workers digging up the street, the sidewalk, okay? And what typically happens? There's six or seven of them, and five are watching, and two are digging. Right? And you say to yourself, my God, what a waste of, of money. Uh, what gross inefficiency. Um, they should fire these guys. I mean, comments like that, right? Okay. That's good management. The way you're thinking is good management. And that's exactly what happened with any entrepreneur who takes over a business. If there's waste, you get rid of it. After all, the idea of owning a company or running a company is to make money for yourself and for your investors, which you may have thousands of investors, okay? It's not to go out and give people jobs. So this whole thing with being capital, and I want to put this into proper perspective, is not whether or not they laid off people, because the, the, the facts seem to show that they were more hired than they were fired. Uh, but what type of a job did the uh, executive, the management, do? Did they do a good job? Well, apparently, uh, Mr. Romney did an excellent job. Now. To me, the type, this is the type of thinking that we have to engage in. Now, of course he laid off people. Of course he outsourced jobs. That's what businesses do. So the issue is, is he going to lay off people when he becomes president? No. What is his task? What is his call? What is his mission? His mission is not to lay off people. His mission as president is to... Um, generate more jobs and more wealth. I, I, I'm sorry, but I don't see uh, the current administration doing that. All they're doing is trying to pick the pockets of those who are wealthy, those who have money. And in that case, even, there's not, there's not even, they're going into people $250,000 a year. I mean, those of you who have two, fam, uh, two, two jobs, uh, I'm sorry, a husband and wife working in, in, in um, in a household, know that if you have two or three kids and a home and a, and a, and a business, 
that's not a lot of money, folks. I'm sorry. And if you're only making $50,000 a year working someplace, I got to tell you, you have to be in that position to understand what I'm saying. Right? So it sounds like, oh, it's wealthy people. Thank God almighty, look what the... And no, no, it's, 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 it's not the case. And if you, if you look at, if you look at how much time and aggravation and, and hours that they're putting in and what their end return is, uh, it, it's, it's not what it's cranked up to be. All right, so it, my point is this. Let's, let's keep things in proper perspective, you know? And for those of you who say, ah, you know, Romney, and it, it's, look, you know what? I mean, I, I'm, I'm not going to say you're wrong. But boy, oh boy, when it comes to the choice between the two, you're wrong. Uh, this guy, last year, paid 14% of his income in um, taxes. Um, so did I, and so did a lot of other uh, entrepreneurs, because we planned our lives that way. It, 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 within the rules of the country, you set the parameters, and then you you move towards them, and not you you shouldn't be criticized for doing that. This is what these are the laws of the country, and now you want to change them because you see people doing what? no, that's not right. And besides that, besides that, I'm not going to speak to myself, but Romney paid over 15% of his income to charity. That's more than what he paid in taxes. How much did any of these other people pay? Do you think that he cares whether or not he's paying 30% tax or 15% tax? Not really, because what he would do is what any other entrepreneur would do is not donate to charity. Who loses? Who's going to get that money? The government's going to get that money and, and dole out part of it because they're going to keep it for their own operations, expanding their own waste. Um, they're going to give it to people who are not as needy as the charities. So, I mean, I, I just like to put things in proper perspective when I see them bent out of shape here and, and I, I, don't, I don't agree with a lot. There are things, I'm not, I'm not an establishment guy at all. I don't like the Democratic establishment and I don't like the Republican establishment. But I do believe that there is a, a, a centrist, there, there's a, um, an independent, um, category there. I think that there are some, some blue dog uh, Democrats and some Tea Party conservative type Republicans that come together and have a greater interest, not, not the machine interest that the Democrats or the Republicans have. And that's where I would like to see people move more towards and uh, the direction in which we take the country into that mode. Right? That's where we need to go. Right? So when you're discussing these matters with, uh, with your friends and colleagues and businesses, you know, it's, it's not a matter of argumentation, it's a matter of being objective and being factual. And when you look at things in the proper perspective, not how many jobs were outsourced, or what, kind of, what, what was the man's mission? And how did he accomplish that mission? Did he do it? Can he do it? Right. And what's the other guy's mission? And did he accomplish it? And that's the other last thing I'm going to talk about is uh, the, the current current president is saying, you know, we're going to help the middle class. We're going to uh, help education. We're going to get more jobs. How? How? What are you going to do? What are you going to do for education? How are you going to do this? You haven't done it in four years. What, 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 you're going to raise taxes? You can't. You can't raise taxes because you got a, you got a, 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 a you have a, re, a Republican House, and more than likely you're going to have a Republican Senate. So he's not going to be able to accomplish any of the stuff that he's talking about. He's going to middle class up. Okay, fine. How? I haven't heard how he's going to do it. I heard he's going to do it. But I've heard a lot of things he said he's going to do, and he hasn't done. How is he going to do it? 
And if he had a plan, which he hasn't, his, his last two budget recommendations were shot down almost, was it 99 to nothing by the Senate? His own people said, no, it's not working. Right? If he does have a plan, where is it? How is he going to do it? That's what I want to know. And he hasn't done it, he hasn't been able to do it so far. Fine. Where are we going? Where is he going? Let's see it. Let's see it. And we certainly know what his track record is. He doesn't have one. He, he, he never held a, a job. He never held a position. He never was able to accomplish uh, anything in the way of, of, of businesses or job creation. He listens to these college professors who don't know their ass from their elbow, all theoretics, okay? Have, have no idea what's going on in the real world. And if it wasn't for tenure, they wouldn't even be around. What is he going to do? How is he going to do it? Please answer my question, all right? That's what I want to get. Uh, one last announcement. We've developed an excellent, excellent test for natural intelligence. Um, if you go online to our website, www.masterpattern.net, or www.drbobflower.com, and that's dr, drbobflower.com. We will post this test. Um, you'll be able to take it uh, for free. And what it will do is a very short test, maybe 10 minutes tops, not even. Um, what it will do is it will categorize uh, your natural intelligence. There are 13 natural intelligences. Uh, and it will show you where your uh, your strengths are and where your weaknesses are. Okay. Have a great week. Uh, I'm gonna try and maybe do something Friday for in advance for Monday because uh, I'm a little concerned about um, Monday or else maybe maybe we could um, maybe we could do a real early uh, thing on uh, on Monday. Okay. Um, have a great week. See you, citizens. <laughs>